so we have a we have a great topic today <laughs> very uh very appropriate to this time of year so let me uh just uh see i'll just introduce myself here my name is ellie cohen i'm a medical qigong practitioner and energy healing coach I've been teaching over 10 years energy practices and especially uh, from a, a traditional Chinese medicine lineage Qigong, which is a movement practice with breath work with working with the energy of your mind of your emotions. And really, when I started learning this practice, what drew me into this practice is the holistic nature of this practice of how we work, not only with the body, but with the breath and with with our psyche and with with our emotions consciously actively and so i found it as a as a really beautiful way to to heal to heal myself at the time and over time after years uh, of practicing uh, also seeing people one-on-one -on -one and and uh, uh getting them the help they need to to empower themselves to heal so this chi talk i think started like a year or two ago when i uh just looked into uh doing something that is open to everybody to kind of spare the words of health and healing and 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 here we are so uh welcome and today's topic is really about something that was very very uh looked after <laughs> during the pandemic you know and and it's how to strengthen your defense system your immune system especially we're talking about it going into winter into the cold months and these shoulder season spring and fall are usually times where people get ill get colds because of the change in uh, in temperature and pressure and all kinds of things that are going in in the environment and also emotionally inside of you because the internal organs are aligned with what's going on outside so there's there's a the change is not only outside is inside and this transition sometimes uh, take a toll so so this is this was something that was very dear to ancient cultures especially in the east we have a lot of practices to strengthen your immune system to strengthen yourself um and qigong uh, there's in Chinese medicine, there's abundance of information on it. <laughs> and so and many, many practices. And I just wanted to share some tips in this uh, kind of half an hour. We have, uh, you know, something that you can do, something that is easy that everybody can tap into. So good. So that's that's what we're here for. Good to see you, Bart. Good to see you, Edward. Welcome to Welcome to Chi Talk. So let's start with a little bit of a meditation just so we can all drop into into the same energy space like we always do. So let's close our eyes, if you will, together. And just come into the body. When we say come into the body, it's just uh, to feel the body. So more of a felt sense and getting out of the thought process of the mind even the emotions so just tap into sensation in the body that means you can think about oh how my leg feels or how my am, am i feeling hot right now am i feeling cold or what it is going on there's pain here uh there's good feeling over there and you just open to the physical sensation of your body wherever it may be and in general, just feel the aliveness of the body beyond the label of this is good sensation, this is bad, this is pain, this feels good. Just open to the aliveness. So when we open, when we see all the physical sensation as, as chi, as energy, beyond the label, and it's so hard to look at, especially if it's pain, beyond the label, but if we if we allow ourselves to be curious about this sensation or that sensation, truly curious without the label, without the judgment, things are moving, things are shifting into a place of, uh, of healing, of wholeness. They open. So let's just kind of see if we can 
kind of have this attitude as we sit here and feel the whole body travel around it. And notice that with no effort on your part, the body is breathing. And move your attention to the sensation of breath in the body, wherever it's most compelling or obvious to you. And just focus on that one area that's most interested in and develop this sort of curiosity. Just connect with the breath as it is, not how you like it to be, but as it is. If it's shallow, it is shallow, you just notice. If it's deep, it's deep. The reality of this moment as it is as it is and let's move our attention to the area of the belly, lower abdomen. Continue to watch the breath, but from this space right now, as opposed to the space that you chose before, now from this space, from the lower abdomen, Don't try to breathe deeper. Just put your attention there and see if you feel the sensation of the breath there at all. Relax your mind into that space. Relax the belly, soften it. Allow your mind to relax and soften. Nice, and from here, let's open the eyes. Beautiful, nice. Just a couple of minutes and we're feeling better. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, how do we work on our immune system? How do we strengthen? And just this meditation, this breath meditation is really 
kind of like a hint to, to this whole topic. And really what we're talking in Chinese medicine is the lungs. The lungs are what uh, governs the immune system, what distribute what we call the Wei Qi. So uh, the Wei Qi is a certain type of energy, it's called guardian Qi. And in Chinese medicine, it's being seen as the ability of the of the body to uh, defense itself from external pathogen. So the Wei Qi is distributing distributed by the lungs to the skin and beyond the surface of the skin. Yeah, so and and a lot of, you know, some very powerful Qigong uh, practitioner show that they can be uh, exposed to a to all kinds of viruses and and extreme weathers and not get affected by it because they did some uh, strong Wei Qi practices. Yeah, and um, so so this is uh, this is something that is was always a part of uh, Qigong and uh, it's it's actually in the essence of of our practice of Qigong practice. And I'm just going to share a few tips in this season what to do if you would like to stay kind of like out of the 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 colds and strengthen your immune system uh the first thing first uh recommendation would be to get in line with nature to actually step out of the house and walk in nature so when we are in line with the elements the weather changes it becomes a little colder sometimes it's some days it's colder and some days hot cold and hot kind of shifting in this shoulder season very rapidly and that's that's kind of like uh exercise our wei qi yeah so um our wei qi is our ability to maintain our our integrity of temperature and pressure inside while the outside is change, changing rapidly just think about when you have a cold or a flu you're not able to control it, right? You need to cover, it's either you cold and under the blanket or very, very hot. So the Wei Qi is compromised and there's no ability to control the, the body doesn't have uh, so much protective layer and you're really exposed to cold and hot. And so you need to kind of bundle up a lot. So strong Wei Qi is uh, the first, the first uh, recommendation is to really be in nature, walk in nature. Kind of see what's going on and and uh, and 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 be part of what's going on. The the other one is to slow down. This is not the time to go to a marathon or to do new 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 stressful projects that are very uh, hard on you. Uh, this is a time when the weather shifts. When we going towards winter, it's best it's best actually to slow down during during this time. To, uh, to kind of uh, uh, be more of a yin state. Yeah, the days get shorter, the nights are longer. It's more of a yin state, being more contemplative, uh, being uh, more internal, uh, self-care practices, being more introspective. It's very, very good for you. Connect with your emotions. It's very good. This is a time that we want to feel more of our emotional energy. You know, it's time of also of of uh, of uh, in uh, Chinese medicine is a time for forgiveness. You know, it's very interesting because it's Jewish tradition. We have Yom Kippur, which is about forgiveness, and it it is in the fall. And forgiveness is uh, is a way to release emotional tension, as to acknowledge hurts or things like that, and then release them, letting go. Letting go is really, if I, if in Chinese medicine you would have to choose a, a, a verbiage about what fall is about, it's about letting go. And it's a time of, of, of grief, of sadness, everything is dying, you know, the letting go, the trees let go of the leaves, everything is letting go, it's a, it's a time of, of death in outside. So it brings kind of very emotional, very sadness, grief is part of this season, very emotional. It could be, we could be very emotional during this season. I think I am, I just felt like it's just changed last week. It becomes very cold here where I live and uh, where some of you live too. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so you become more emotional. So it's very, 
So when the tree loses their leaf, everything is dying. So we say that death is part of life. Birth and death is part of life. And, and it's okay to cry. It's okay to express sadness or grief and, and letting go of, of, uh, of, of this. So, um, so this is a time to kind of like uh, be more internal, connect with your emotional energy and really uh, practice this, uh, this practice of, of letting go of, of, and be sad is okay and connect with your emotion is okay and forgive and all that stuff. And usually we do workshops in, around this time that I have to do with emotional energy. And there's, um, and there's a lot, there's a protocol in Qigong tradition, how to release emotions and things like that. So what I'd like to, to do also is to invite you to the noon class on Thursday that we do a lot of these practices, not at the depth of the workshop of the emotions, but we really lift up the lung chi. So the lungs are connected with sadness, with grief, all this is part of the lung chi. And on the other side, when the lungs is uplifted and strong, when you have a good way, way chi is strong, the guardian chi is strong. It's this time of courage and inspiration. Yeah, and righteousness, creativity is the energy of the lungs. So you can lift up the lung chi. Yeah, you can strengthen up the way chi by doing certain breathing practices and that would strengthen the Wei Qi. So all how to strengthen the Wei Qi, the Wei Qi is being stored in the in the digestive system and distributed by the lungs. The lungs are compromised in the in the fall. <laughs> and so what what we need to do is a lot of breathing practices. Very uh, and that's what we do mostly in the classes at noon and various breathing practices that are with movement that really open up the lung chi and strengthen the lung chi. Another way to strengthen the, the immune system is to feel uh, a sense of, pr of, of pride, of self-worth, you know, like we did, we talked about it last time. You know, what are you proud of? What are you proud of this, that this past year? What do you appreciate about yourself? Things like that would actually, it's very interesting that emotions can actually strengthen an organ. In Chinese medicine, we see it as a whole system. So the emotions connect with the organs. The organs don't have only a physical function. They have only a spiritual function and an emotional function. So if we feel love, we strengthen the heart. If we, right, we feel love, we strengthen the heart. If we feel proud, and self-worth and we are just think about sit and think about things that you're accomplished that you're proud of yourself in the past if you like just do it for for a few minutes write it down or just kind of connect with these memories like wow look i did this i did this that would that emotion would actually open the lung chi you would breathe deeper you would change your posture <clears throat> so that's also important to understand how emotions affect the physical body and of course they do right when we are stressed out aren't we all tied up <laughs> yeah the physical body and the emotional body all related and and connected the other things in the in the fall is good to understand that the it's very dry the, and that the dryness dries up the lungs and that's the pathogen of 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 uh getting the immune system compromised because when the lung are dry it it, it it there's the way chi is more collapsed in so how to how to lubricate the lungs is is to is is by diet you know like drinking warm soups that's very good steam steam rooms if you have access to a sauna to a steam sauna this is very good for the lungs also the skin if you apply this is the time to really apply oil i don't like cosmetic stuff necessarily because they have a lot of chemicals <laughs> but if you have oil like jojoba oil or even olive oil or coconut oil moisture out the outside even more moisture in the outside of the skin would affect the skin and the lungs are connected that's very very thing in chinese medicine so the lung 
and the skin are connected together. So when you treat the skin, you treat the lungs. Yeah, you just look at somebody that smokes cigarettes for many, many years. Look at their skin. The skin doesn't look that good, right? You can tell. So the lung is compromised, the skin will look worse, yeah? So if you want a good complexion, a good, then the breathing practicing will help. Yeah, so the lungs and the skin are connected. So taking care of the skin is taking care of the lungs, taking care, hydrating, drinking a lot of water is very, very good uh, during this dry season. And drinking warm fluid like, um, congee, you know, and uh, oatmeal, things like that <clears throat> are very good for, for the lungs. So uh, highly digestive food that are more digestive. Now, these are all measures that you can take to protect your, your, uh, your immune system, but also and do qigong. And there's also uh, what we call the wei qi, the wei qi breathing or longevity breathing. And I shared it in a workshop. <laughs> yeah, it's a certain type of breathing that tonify the kidney and strengthen the Wei Qi. And I've studied this with a teacher, with a master, grandmaster, and it transformed my health. I clearly remember. So this breathing technique, some of you know it because there were, you you were in this uh, workshop. I just did it over zoom last year i think it was last year we did it over zoom it's a it's a two-hour workshop and it is recorded and if you want to look it up just uh type longevity.chiwideli.com and that's where this uh and i think we have a special just for a few weeks uh we decided to here longevity now this breathing technique is is very powerful. Let's see, chi with eli.com. So here I wrote it in the chat box. Um, <clears throat> it's a two hour workshop and it really designed to increase your lung capacity, to really understand where's the diaphragm and how to uh, slowly, slowly, slowly really increase your lung capacity. It takes a little while. It takes probably two to two months to really feel a big shift but it's a very easy practice to do i've done it for a, a, a long time and the thing is unlike other practices that when you stop you you stop you don't get the benefit with this one you actually if you keep it for a while for let's say two months 60 days you actually create a change, a real change in your nervous system and a real change to your health. <laughs> so this is a Wei Qi breathing technique. If you want to, if you're serious about it, then look that up. That's that's a really powerful practice. <clears throat> I share it during COVID time. I had a few free videos about it, but if you want to learn it like deeply, you should look at this uh, longevity breathing, longevity.chiwideli.com. So so this is really what I have to say about in just kind of a, a, a big brush strokes over like how to protect your immune system. Uh, you know, if you're feeling if you are doing the Wei Qi breathing technique or you're doing a strong breathing technique, then it's very good if you're feeling strong, like right after you can do a warm shower and end with a cold. If you cold exposure is also very good to protect your Wei Qi cold and hot, cold and hot, but you want to do it in a time where you're feeling strong, like after a really powerful breathing practice, like the Wei Qi practice, you do it for a little bit and then you do, and then you finish like with a just few seconds of cold that would, that would amplify. So this, there are practices that there are tips of what to do, like what we started. And now we're going into more advanced practices, like advanced Qigong practices. Uh, that are not for everybody. Uh, it's also really uh, so. So it's so. See where you are on that scale. <clears throat> you know the the first tips would be like what we said: the diet, slowing down, getting out, getting fresh air, 
protecting your neck. These are the points where the where colds penetrate. These are a few acupressure points. So protecting like wearing a scarf if it's, if it's cold, change, starting to change the clothes. Excuse me, that's very important. All right, well, here we go. So that's what I wanted to share today. And, uh, and uh, also invite you to come to class or to um, look at the recording of my class if you cannot come at noon, uh, recording of the, the noon class of, uh, of Qigong for health and healing. That's what we're doing. We're doing a lot of breath practices, a lot of practice to open the lungs in different ways and acupressure techniques and things like that. So, all right, guys. So let's, um, so that was, I, I hope that I was very informative. And uh, <laughs> is there any questions or sharing or anything that you wanna say? Yeah, Gail, go ahead. Okay. First of all, Ellie, I want to tell you that you are so important at this time in uh, our world, my world, and the world, just flat out. You are a lighthouse. And uh, we have, I'll speak for myself, after years of counseling and all of the therapeutic practices that I know, you spoke about sadness. And I have been indeed experiencing for myself a time of grief. And I know that I have never lived through a time of destruction. And on this earth plane at this time, we are now cycling through a time of destruction. It's creation, maintenance, and destruction. And you brought up the part of letting go. And quite honestly, it's difficult for me, I find it difficult to let go. All of my licenses, all of my material, all of my, oh, manuals. It's time for me at my age just to let it go. And that's hard because it's good stuff. Uh, that's one. The other thing I wanted to ask you about is bone broth. I've been taking seminars on healing and um, supplements because of this time of chaos and crisis. And bone broth was a suggestion and you mentioned soups. What you're mentioning, what you're teaching is beneficial, not only to the psychological, but also to the physical. And when we are finally physically in balance, and breathing, as you say, being able to aerate that which is stuck and to open, um, I'm at a loss. I, I find myself, again, you mentioned going within. I find myself not wanting to communicate. I'm communicating to you right here. I'm communicating <laughs> to everybody that may be listening because even as a therapist, we are not immune just because we have some knowledge doesn't mean that we're not at the effect of what is coming at us in the way of the world. And so I thank you for what you have to offer and also for the humility and vulnerability that you also speak to. That takes courage. And I thank you for your courage because vulnerability is courageous. And that's what I have to say. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. This is uh, so powerful, like always, Gail. It's uh, beautiful to hear you talk about this. And uh, thank you, Yesh, for mentioning sadness and grief and, and courage to let go. The courage is the one energy aspect of the lungs uh, that is needed in order to let go, in order to... Um, go through what we're we're going through and 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 let go and open the door to 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 something new and it's it's not easy and you know i've been experienced this year a, a lot of loss um you know very close to me and that was uh that was a big lesson and um so and and i spent the last week because of this change of season to actually digging a little deeper into into my heart into 
and crying and and this is so relieving and so good and it's uh and it's uh and and from from that place that only from that place we can also um kind of create the future so uh so yeah thank you for mentioning courage and sadness and all that stuff is there anybody else wants to join this conversation anybody else wants to chime in before we close bark yes, yes. Yeah, I wanted to um it's about the color white is it when we just uh, or only um, visualize the color white is it also cleaning out our lungs or do yeah. we have to or is visualization only not enough uh yeah the visualiz visualization is very very powerful so i just wanted to say to other people that are not don't know but in chinese medicine we have every organ has a certain color that associated with it and associated with the energy of the organ so the lung as bart says is is uh, pearly white that's the color of that organ is that the color of the season is white and the element is the metal element and uh yes visualization is a an incredibly to incredible powerful tool to to heal and to to cleanse and clear and when we do the sound healing or when we do uh, you know if you join the classes we are we are meditating on on the color white during the practice we are doing posture we we are seeing white as as the color of the lungs the color uh, as clarity um and openness and uh so so yeah for sure the color itself the color has a vibration like anything on the planet like a sound like a word everything has a certain vibration and the color white has its own vibration and we visualize the lung in the color in that color so that that's part of the practice does that answer the question yes yes <laughs> okay everybody so this is a, a a really really powerful topic and um uh if you are if you if you don't do the longevity if you don't look at the longevity breathing what i really uh, uh, what i do every morning before i wake up is very uh, is the long is the longevity breathing is the way chi breathing so really lower abdominal breathing for a period of time and then go out i usually go out uh after a powerful uh way chi breathing i go out <laughs> to the elements without much clothes on and just just you know so this is a way to kind of like um really work on your weight on your on your protective so tr try that really would love for you to uh see longevity breathing and and to start practicing and i, I know edward you were in this uh workshop i think right longevity breathing oops i think Edward is frozen right now. I don't see you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's let's finish our uh, let's finish our uh, our session with a little bit of acupressure. Let's. I want to share with you an acupressure technique that is good for immune system. This is one of the most powerful point for immune system. And let's feel the collarbone right here. Yeah, our collarbone, and right underneath the collarbone, close to the sternum. There's a point called elegant mansion. So manj or elegant palace. The palace is the lungs. The palace in Chinese medicine is associated with the lungs. The palace is where every, everybody meets. Everything is, yeah, the palace in the city is where, where it, the governance come from the palace. Yeah, everybody look up to the palace and the lung is associated with the palace. So right underneath the collarbone, <clears throat> there's an indentation. It's the intercostal space, the space between the, the ribs, between the collarbone and the first rib, close to the sternum. This is elegant mention. And let's take a deep breath in and exhale from the mouth. Now, it's, it's, you can do it on both sides. You can hold both sides, or you can hold one side. 
Yeah, it's all bilateral. And that's part of the kidney meridian. So the kidney meridian houses healing energy. And the first, and that's the last point on the kidney meridian. So the last point, the first and the last point on the meridian is very potent. It's kind of like the beginning of a trail and the end of the trail. If you go hiking, you know that point is very powerful. Yeah, so let's, let's uh, close the eyes, massage this point, inhale and exhale. Now, when you exhale, exhale fully all the way out. No more air in the lungs. Inhale through the nose. And exhale from the mouth. Slowly until there's no more air inside of the lungs. So this is a point for immune system, also immune for chronic fatigue. It's the point for any chronic fatigue. And then when we go underneath the collarbone all the way to the shoulder's nest, the shoulder's nest is this point, this little indentation between the chest muscle and the shoulder muscle. And this, this is the first lung point, and it's called letting go. This is actually the name of the point. The other point was called elegant palace this point called letting go and this is for emotional release and the way we do it we hold middle finger on both sides we inhale and exhale let go of sadness let go of grief inhale and exhale all the way out. Feel that the exhalation with a little bit of sound, you choose the sound that is good for you. It could be a, a sigh. Find relief, emotional relief in that sound that is being released from the mouth. Inhale, feel the air filling up the lungs. Visualize white, white cloud, white, the color white inside of the lung. And then exhale. Letting go of old tension all and feel. And if you can connect with anybody that you can forgive all the hurts, It's a nice time to do it when we're doing this practice. Inhale. Nice. So let's move the hands to the heart. Make little circles on the heart. And the heart is the emperor or empress that sits in the palace. So when the palace is clean and clear, the emperor, empress is happy. The lung and the heart have a very strong connection. So when we do breathing like that, when we let go of emotional tension, we feel better in our heart. Massage the heart. Let's reverse the circle. Just make, breathe and put some spaciousness here inside of your heart, inside of your chest. Nice. Beautiful. Let's open the eyes. 
so good so beautiful it doesn't take that long we just have to make an um you know we talked about transition last time like like really put the time to two minutes three minutes to do some transitioning and we feel so much better if you do few of those throughout the day you will feel so much better going into bed thank you so much guys thank you very much for participating and spreading the word and help helping me spreading the, this word and this practice i'll see you next week and if you're a member of the jcc we have a class tomorrow in person at 12 15 at the jcc again <laughs> bye guys bye now thank you so much thank you